a pan-seared oatmeal that fights inflammation and helps with gut health, you need to check this out. Doesn't that citrus look amazing? So much fun to use the torch also. So you want your citrus to last for six months. Oh, and it saves you money too. Okay, I'm gonna show you how, but let's get breakfast started first. So the first thing that we're gonna do is bring our water and that prune, that California prune puree to a boil. Then you're gonna go ahead and add in the following. Add in your oats, the hemp hearts, the salt, cinnamon, the ground clove, and the butter. And then you're gonna bring that mixture back up to a simmer and I'm gonna give you some more storage tips. Okay, so first thing, how to store your oatmeal, but I have something important to share with you first. So oatmeal can be one of two things. It can be stabilized or unstabilized. So the difference is this, Stabilized oatmeal is processed and steamed. It's done so, so it'll last for a very long time. The unstabilized stuff, not so much. That process actually reduces the nutrient value of the oats. But here's the thing, stored in an airtight container in a cool, dark, dry place, say it one more time, cool, dark, dry place, stored that way, stabilized oats can last for up to two years unstabilized oats about six months. Okay, so that oatmeal mixture that we brought to a simmer, you wanna cook that for about 15 minutes and you wanna cook it to the point where the oats are tender and the liquid is completely absorbed. I got more storage chips. Once the oats are cooked, you're gonna take a bread pan, line it with parchment paper. Here's a little trick. If you take that parchment paper and wad it all up and then unwad it, it will actually shape to whatever thing you're using, like this bread pan. So line a bread pan with parchment paper hanging over the sides. We're gonna add the oats to that bread pan and then let the oats sit for about an hour. You want them to completely set because we're gonna sear them. Okay, let's get to some storage tips. Okay, so storing citrus. Want it to last for six months? I've literally had my fresh citrus last that long. So it looks great on a bowl on the counter, worst way to store it. Looks great, worst way to store it. So what you wanna do is put your citrus in a bag, preferably one that you can seal, and put it in the refrigerator. It likes to be cold. Citrus is a winter fruit. So store it in the refrigerator, store that way in a bag, protecting it from the elements within the fridge. It'll actually last up to six months, I kid you not. Okay, so now you know how to store your citrus, Let's get to using some. So you're gonna take your orange and your grapefruit, you're gonna cut them into thick slices. We're gonna take those slices, lay them out on a baking sheet, pat them dry, and you're gonna to have to do this again, but pat a slice dry, pour some sugar on it. Got that song stuck in my head now. Pour some sugar on it and then brulee it with the food torch. And then you're just gonna to have to rinse and repeat. Oh, and did you know sugar, sugar lasts indefinitely. Stored in a cool, dark, dry place in an airtight container, sugar lasts indefinitely. It doesn't go bad. Okay, once the oatmeal is set, we're gonna melt some butter in a cast iron skillet. We're gonna cut that oatmeal into four equal slices. And then you're just gonna sear each side of the oatmeal cakes that you cut. Now here's the thing, the oatmeal is very pliable, it, it's not gonna take much for it to break, so don't overstuff your skillet. You want just enough that you can get it in there, sear it, but also move them over and flip them for searing on both sides. You wanna sear them for about three to five minutes until they have a nice char on the side that's in contact with the pan. What I love about this recipe is using those California prunes to sweeten that oatmeal. You can make it sweeter. You could add more prunes if you wanted to. I had it just enough to have a nice, lovely sweetness in there, but not too sweet. I'm not a big dessert breakfast guy. So you have your prunes in there, you made this delicious seared oatmeal. You're gonna top it off with that brulee fruit. You're gonna top it off with some pistachio. You're gonna top it off with a little bit of cream and boom, you have a delicious, lovely, tasty, gut healthy, fights inflammation, good for the bone health breakfast. Are you ready for more storage tips? Of course you are, let's get to it. Okay, so I explained to you what unstabilized and stabilized oatmeal is, right? So 
the stabilized stuff has been processed, it's been steamed. It's not as nutrient rich, but it lasts a lot longer. Stored in a cool, dark, dry place. I'd be getting tired of me saying that. Cool, dark, dry place in an airtight container those oats will keep for up to two years. If it's unstabilized, about six months. Same thing for hemp hearts. If you bought the hemp hearts for this recipe, so the thing about the hemp hearts, they're not gonna last as long either. So those are best stored in the fridge in a sealed container. Store that way, they'll keep for a year. They're great for smoothies. They're great for oats like this. You can put them on a salad. Lots of ways to use them, super nutritious and tasty. We talked about how to store citrus, right? So your citrus looks great on a bowl on the counter, worst way to store it. You wanna put it in the fridge, in a bag, seal if you can. Kept that way, I've had my citrus last up to six months. Now, here's another tip about oatmeal. Did you know that you can toast it? So if you take the oats and you put it in a fry pan dry and just toast it over a medium heat until they kind of start to brown, you'll add a really nice caramel and vanilla notes to your oatmeal that are just lovely. It's a little bit extra work, but I suggest trying it. And you know I'm all about the food waste, right? So I told you how to store your citrus. What do you do with those peels that you're not gonna eat? Well, you eat them. You can actually take the peels from citrus and candy them. One of my favorite ways to do that is dip them in chocolate after they've been candied, add a little sea salt. Here it is. We throw out so much food in this country. About 40% of what's grown ends up in the trash can. This is a delicious way to fight food waste. Like this video? Give me a thumbs up. Something you wanna see? Drop a comment down below. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. So stay tuned for more. And hey, check out those California friends.